Mali Bokuzi Cantali Galanta Laga Galante, Antoli Galaboko Centri Handa Laga Galaboko Toli Galante. Father, you are wonderful, Lord. Father, you are beautiful, Lord. Father, you are mighty, Lord. Mali Boko Sin Teri Galanta Lagagalabo Sin Tagalantia. Mali Boko Sin Tagalantia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace that you have given us. We could never repay you, but with our hearts, we like to see. Oh. 
I see the Lord, oh, I see the Lord, for my eyes have seen the King, the Lamb upon the throne, who reigns Christ, Martin, name. We have worshipped our Father God. Amen. Amen. My Daddy God, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. We magnify your name. Thank you, Lord. There is no one like you, Lord, from everlasting to everlasting, Lord. You are God. You reign in your glory. You reign in your power. Yes, Lord. There's no one like you. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, thank you for your strength. Thank you. thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Lord, because it's all about you, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's all about you, Father. Yes, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy of everything, yes, Lord. Lord. Blessed be your name, Father. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Daddy God Almighty, for bringing us again, O Lord, even to this retreat, O Lord. Lord God Almighty, the day four of this retreat of the blessing, with or without sorrow. Thank you, Lord, for how you have carried us, Lord, from day one up to this time. You, Father, we thank you because, Lord, by your mercy we believe that your word, O Lord, has imparted our hearts and soul, O Lord. And Lord God Almighty, Lord, we begin to harvest, O Lord, your investment in our lives, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord. We appreciate you for the gift of life. Yes, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for it's not to him that winneth, not to him that runneth, but it's a few that showeth mercy. Yes, thank you, Lord, for your mercy and grace. Thank Glory you. be to your holy name, Father. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, that the God Almighty, Lord, we come to you just as we are. He has the Lord that will search us, O Lord, examine us. He will try us, O Lord God Almighty, Lord, and find, O Lord God Almighty, Lord, only your will, only your face, O Lord. Whatever is, Lord, 
of you in yes, us. Lord. He has the Lord. He will root it out of us, Lord. Yes. He will show us your mercy, Lord. He will cleanse us inside and outside. He will wash us clean, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Yes. Thank you, precious Heavenly Father. Thank All you, glory be to your holy name, Lord. Yes. And Lord, without you, Lord, God Almighty, Lord, I can do nothing, Lord. I depend on you, Lord. I surrender to you, Lord. I ask the Lord, God Almighty, you have your way, O Lord, in my life as you continue to sit on me, Lord, and bring forth to Lord God Almighty your words of eternal life to guide us, O Lord, to pray, Lord. Lord, I ask the Lord, you will strengthen me, Lord. You will empower me, Lord, and more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Heavenly Father. You, Glory be to your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious Daddy God Almighty, for all your children all over the world. Thank you, Lord, for all the connections. Let everyone, O God Almighty, Lord, be connected. Let no one be hindered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you. Glory Lord. be to your holy name. That the Lord God Almighty, Lord, I pray that Lord, you continue to prepare us for your coming, O oh God. Yes, and none of us, O Lord, will miss the way, O oh God. And all of us will be focused on you, Lord God Almighty. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Daddy. Thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. We love you, Daddy. We appreciate you, Daddy. Yes, Lord. At the end of this prayer, I call it everyone lift up your hands and say, I've had a counter with Jesus Christ. Amen. Let it last forever, Father. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus Christ, unchallengeable mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Shalom morning, shalom afternoon, shalom evening, precious family all over the world. We thank God Almighty for His grace and mercy upon us. We give God the praise, all the ministers of God over there, our daddies and mommies, brothers and sisters, to God be the glory for counting us worthy to be in His presence. The Lord is faithful and He'll continue to uphold us by His right and of righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We appreciate the Lord God Almighty because He alone knows why He called us out at this particular point in time for this praying with fasting prayer retreat. And by the mercy of God, the Lord God Almighty has not left us alone. He has been with us, teaching us, guiding us by His word in the way that we should go. And I'm trusting God that the Lord God Almighty is not going to leave us. He's going to carry us to the finishing line. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the grace of God, we are trusting God also that you will begin to call people to come. You will share the prayer call and let people join us. I want to also encourage us to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and also share it over there. And let people be connected to the word of God. God Almighty is going to use you over there to win souls for him. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord God Almighty bless you. By the mercy of God today, we are going to continue as we take our retreat scripture from the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse number 22. Lord God Almighty gave us that verse as a guide to our prayer in this retreat. Blessing with or without sorrow, BWS5. So we're going to take our prayer from the scripture. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. Yes. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he added no sorrow with it. Amen. The Lord God Almighty said he has a blessing. And that blessing maketh rich, maketh us complete. The blessing of the Lord is beyond money, is beyond the wealth of this world. The person of the Lord, child of God, is where God has found a heart seeking him. He belongs to the righteous. He belongs to the one that God can trust and say, this one, no matter what he has or she has in this world, he's not going to leave me. God is a jealous God. And God Almighty is very particular about our relationship with him. And that is the reason why he called the disciples in the book of Mark chapter 3 verse 14. The reason why the Lord God Almighty began to call people is because of relationship. Mark chapter, chapter 3, 3 verse 14. 14. And he ordained 12. He ordained 12. They should be with him. They should be with him. And that he might send them forth to preach. So there's a difference between should and might. Might has some probability in it. Should is 
this is what is going to be. It's ought to be, and it's going to be soon. God is enjoying a relationship with us, family. He's not after us running up and down, walking for Him. He's going to help us today by His grace in the message. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to continue because the Lord God Almighty said, we have to use sorrow, sorrow, to check whether the blessing that we have is of the Lord. Not trials, not testing, it's a little bit of testing and sorrow. Testing, trials, have, have joy. It has joy. Go to the book of James chapter 1 verse 2. When God has blessed you with his blessing, and you have challenge, you have trial, you have testing, it doesn't produce sorrow. James chapter 1 verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. God's blessing, child of God, when it produces pain, trial, it doesn't produce sorrow. It brings joy. We begin to count ourselves worthy to go through things because of Jesus Christ, because of our relationship with Him. Because the Bible tells us in the book of First Peter 4, it said, don't suffer because of your sin. Don't have sorrow because of your sin. Let your suffering be because of your godliness, your lifestyle in Christ Jesus. That's the reason why we should suffer. Not because of our bad life, because of our carnality, our prayerlessness. The Lord said that suffering is the suffering of the world. There's no comfort in that one. There are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. That mourning is not because somebody died or because you lost anything in this world. That mourning is a mourning of repentance and dependence on God. God is going to show the difference between sorrow and pain and going through things because you have grace and strength when you are going through things even though you are under the blessing of the Most High God. I trust God Almighty to teach us the more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're going to take our retreat song before we go to the message for today. And we're going to continue by the mercy of God as the Lord will guide us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I'm blessed without a cause. I'm blessed with life in Christ. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I choose the blessing of God without sorrow. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I'm blessed without a curse. I'm blessed with life in Christ. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I choose the blessing of God without sorrow. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I'm blessed with God a curse. I'm blessed with life in Christ. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I choose the blessing of God without sorrow. Oh, I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I'm blessed with articles. I'm blessed with life in Christ. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I choose the blessing of God without sorrow. Hallelujah. God Almighty said the blessing he gives has no sorrow. That's why he gave us the choice in the book of the Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19 which we read the other day, the first day. He said, I place before you blessing and cursing, life and death, but choose life that you and your seed you shall live. The Lord God Almighty gave us an example in the life of Jabez. He was given back to by his mother in sorrow. I don't know the condition. Maybe after giving back to him, Maybe the father disowned him. They pushed her out of the house. There must have been a very sorrowful condition under which Jabez was born, according to the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter number 4, 9 to 10. But he became mature in his spirit and said, I better seek God. This is not what my parents can do. This is not what human beings can do for me. I better go to God direct. And the Lord said that he began to pray. 
We have to pray a reasonable, responsible spiritual prayer. I don't want to cause harm. I don't want to be limited in life because of somebody's sorrow. I want to be able to reach out, enlarge my coast. I want to be a blessing. God Almighty is calling us to know that the reason why we are alive is to be a blessing. We want being a problem to somebody's life. God has called us to bless people. The Lord God Almighty gave a promise to Abraham. He said, I will bless them that bless you. And I will curse them that curse you. That's the book of Genesis chapter 12. Go to the book of Genesis chapter number 12. God Almighty said the reason for this blessing is to be a blessing. We are blessed to bless others. Look at verse number, look at, let's start from verse 1. Genesis chapter number 12, from verse number 1. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Yes. Get thee out of thy country. Yes. And from thy kindred. Yes. And from thy father's house. Yes. Also a land that I will show thee. Yes. And I will make thee a great nation. And I, I will bless make thee. of thee a, a great nation, nation. And I will bless thee. Uh -huh. And make thy name great. Yes. And thou shalt be a blessing. Look at it. It's not a full stop. No. It is a colon. Why is it a blessing? Verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee. I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curses thee. I will thee. curse that person who curses you. And, in, and indeed shall all families of the earth be blessed. The Lord gave you a permanent blessing. This is the person of the Lord. Indeed shall all families of the yes. earth be blessed. blessed. Amen. Amen. God Almighty is going to know that he can bless him. Anybody that touches that person is cursed. In what that that person is blessed. That is why if you bless Israel, the physical Israel, you are blessed. If you curse the physical Israel, you are cursed. Lord God Almighty is going to beware of cursing anybody that God Almighty has blessed because you are going to get the repercussion. I pray God Almighty will have mercy on us. Amen. Not to touch people that God has blessed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God Almighty is calling us that it is time for us to look through Take a retrospect how we started. The world, the Lord came to us and said, A fortune of being, a fortune seed being born again, and then a sorrow in the soul. You struggle with Him. You struggle to pray. You struggle to read the Bible. You struggle to preach. You struggle to obey God. There's no joy of the Lord in you. That is a soul that has sorrow. The Lord God Almighty said, It is time to deal with that sorrow. He gave us a blessing without sorrow in our soul, in my soul, in your soul. The Lord took us in the second day. He said, it's time for blessing. Without sorrow, in my home, in my family, in my marriage. Because many homes, child of God, there is sorrow there. But the, when they began, there was rejoicing. Big wedding. And that was why... The Bible says in the book of John chapter 2 at the marriage of in Cana of Galilee. It was a wonderful, beautiful wedding, but sorrow came. And I told God that Jesus was there. And he was called upon, and Jesus took away the sorrow permanently. Why? There was a testimony that the marriage is even sweeter than before. The Lord Almighty wants to give us another opportunity in our homes. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Almighty took us yesterday. Say it's time for us to have blessing. That has no sorrow, without sorrow, in our finances, in our work. When I look at the book of Psalm 90, verse 17, I begin to see that people are joking with God. They don't know that it is God Almighty that establishes our work. It is God Almighty that gives us increase. 90, 20, 90 17 Psalm. Psalm 90, I read verse 17. What does he say? And let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Yes. And establish thou the work of our hands yes. upon us. Yes. Yes. The work of our hands, establish thou it. Right. God Almighty said, Is the one that established the work of our hands? And God cannot establish the work of the hand of somebody who is committing sin, of a wicked person, of a prostitute, of somebody who is doing the work out of their own selfish gain. They are the one that led themselves to it. They say it's my handwork. And you are there carving people's face. You call yourself makeup artist. Beware, child of God, of being a fashion designer that design people with clothes that God Almighty can never establish. God Almighty is interested in the kind of work we do. That is why we want to be very, very, very watchful and humble towards how we are, what kind of work that we are working. I pray God Almighty will open our eyes to investigate our work and check if he can establish such a walk in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord has brought us again today. 
they fall. The Lord said, it is blessing without sorrow in my ministry. In the work I work for God. We are in a world, child of God, where anybody wants to work for God. People are rushing to work for God. And God Almighty said, if you go and work for me, go into ministry, and I do not have the best of the Lord, there's going to be sorrow there. You are going to struggle. You are going to begin to do evil. You will go and join God. You will begin to do, commit sin inside because there's no grace. When you talk about sorrow, it means there's no grace. There's no help from the Lord. It is a self-struggle. God is not in it. And so the Lord of said today, it is blessing without sorrow in my ministry. In the work I work for God. The Lord God Almighty said his work is in the book of John chapter 6, 28 and 29. What is the work of God? The work of God is in the book of John chapter 6, verses 28 and 29. John chapter 6, 28 and 29. Yes. Then said they unto him, Yes. What shall we do that we might walk the works of God? People are always excited to walk. I want to walk for God. I want to do this for God. We know. People are excited. We're not the first. People did it here. And then what did the Lord say? Jesus answered and said unto them, Yes. This is the work of God. Uh -huh. That they believe on him whom he had sent. Believe on Jesus Christ. He is the one that we do the work. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. We cannot work for God. He is the one that doeth the work. Look at the book of John chapter number 2. Philippians chapter 2, verse number 13. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. But he said, it is God which walketh in you, both it, the will. It is God which walketh in you, both the will. God makes us willing. So when you find out that you are not willing, you don't easily work for God, you are struggling, God is not in you. That's the meaning of that verse. If it is not to work for God, and you find yourself struggling, you are not excited, God is not in you. It is God that worketh in me, in you, both to be willing and to do, and to do of, his good pleasure. of his good pleasure. Child of God, this is how we are going to be testing ourselves. So you will know whether you are doing the work of God by your power or he is the one that is working through you. Look at the following scriptures again. Write them down. Look at Acts 13. Acts 3, 12 to 13. Acts 3, 12 to 13, John 14, 10, John 14, 10, John chapter 5, 19 and 30, Colossians chapter 1, verse 29. We must realize that it is God who is doing the work, so we can be humble, because he that is doing the work can use anybody to do his work. Ministry is talking about service. Ministry is talking about being a blessing to somebody else. That's ministry. Not what we see today that people think that ministry is a attempt to become a big man, a prophet with titles, controlling people. Ministry is service. A minister is a servant. Yes. What does it say? Acts chapter 3, 12 and 13. Yes. And when Peter saw it, yes. he answered unto the people, uh -huh. Ye men of Israel, yes. why marvel ye at this? Why are you marvel, marvel what? at this? Uh -huh. Or why look you so earnestly on us? Yes. As though by our own power or holiness we have made it. It's by our power and holiness that we that this man was healed. That this man began to walk. Right. He has been here, crippled. People have been coming here for prayer. It's not by our power, it's not by our holiness. It is verse 13. The God of Abraham. It is the God of Abraham. And of Isaac. And of Isaac. And of Jacob. And of Jacob. The God of our fathers. The God of our fathers. This father is not the father in the Lord of these churches. These fathers is the fathers of Elijah, of David, of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. All those that God Almighty has established them in the scripture. They are the ones that we are to call fathers. Yes. And glorified his son Jesus. He glorified his son Jesus. Whom he had delivered up. Uh -huh. And denied him in the presence of Pilate. Yes. When he was determined to let him go. Child of God, if you want to talk about Jesus, you cannot talk about Jesus of miracle. Talk about the Jesus that the world hates. Talk about the Jesus of the cross. There's a difference between Jesus of blessing and Jesus of the cross. That is the one that doeth the work. So we cannot do work for God. 
We cannot do service for God without this Jesus of the cross living inside of us. We'll be proud. We'll be arrogant. We'll be pompous. We'll be selling the gifts like we see today preachers and gospel singers. They sell the gift. You become a merchant of the work of God, of the gift of God in your life. God Almighty said, use this to judge that it is time for us to walk for him with the Jesus of the cross, the one that was denied, the one that was crucified, the one that passed through all manner of shame. That is the Jesus that we are following that is going to walk through us. What's the next verse of scripture? John chapter 14, verse 10. Yes. Believers thou not that I am in the Father. Yes. And the Father in me. Uh -huh. The words that I speak unto you. Yes. I speak not of myself. Uh -huh. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. So what say he doeth the works? He doeth God the works. God Almighty said, take it. This is the foundation. You cannot claim ministry by your power. Because I heard a preacher on, on social media yesterday saying that he wants to fill people with the Holy Ghost. He said he will fill people with the Holy Ghost. And I began to laugh at his stupidity. Who are you to fill somebody with the Holy Ghost? He said, let them come. We will get them filled with the Holy Ghost. Ah, That is the pride we have today. Tell God it is God of Abraham. Not a God of any preacher in this world. Beware of attributing the power to a human being. It is the fathers who have slept in the Lord that God Almighty is giving testimony about. So God Almighty is going on today to become humble and know that he is the one that doeth the work. He is the one that does it. We must give him the glory. We cannot touch the glory of God. He will never share glory with any man. Anybody is doing anything for the Lord, I can, I'm here now and remember altar. I cannot touch glory. I must serve the Lord with fear and trembling. I must let the Lord know that I am impotent. I am barren. John chapter 15, my quote again, verse number 5. John chapter 15, verse 5. I am the vine. I am the vine. He are the branches. Uh -huh. He that abideth in me. Yes. And I in him. Yes. He said, bring forth much fruit. He will bring forth much fruit because you are abiding in the vine that can never dry up. Uh-huh. For without me, ye can do without nothing. Without me, say the Lord, ye can do nothing. nothing. We were for working for God with your power. You will struggle. You will hate God. You cannot enjoy God. You will not be in the spirit. We serve God Almighty by depending on His grace. By seeing ourselves as nothing. We are nobody. Apostle Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. But I said, beware. Of walking with your own strength, you are going to struggle. Sorrow is going to come. You will be frustrated. You will be weak. You will always want to walk out. God is going to be humble. That's why I said before. Have you ever any scripture to read, my cousin? John chapter 5, 19 and 30. Read on. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, uh -huh. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Yes. The son can do nothing of himself. Uh -huh. For what he seeth the father do. What he seeth the father do. For what things ever he doeth. This also doeth the Son likewise. Amen. Verse 17. I can of my own self do nothing. The Lord of said, on his own, he can do nothing. That's what Jesus of the flesh said. As I hear, I judge. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. It is just because God is just. Yes. Because I seek not my own will. At all. But the will of the Father which hath sent me. Tell the God, beware of wanting to always push out yourself as it is by your power. We were saying you want to do me, me, me. God is going not to come out. It's not of our, of our power. We don't have strength to serve God. You have power to serve God. We have no power. He is the one that is our strength. That's what the image of the 8 verse 10 C says. Say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Beware of using your physical strength to serve God. If it's my physical strength, I will not be here. If it's my physical strength, I cannot be here. And I would have, I would have bro broken down. I would have, I would have given up long ago. We are not serving up our power, but serving up by His power. If you chapter 3, verse 20, by His power. There is a power of God in us to serve Him. Verse twenty. Say, I want to him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. He is the one that is able to do exceeding, exceeding abundantly. abundantly. Above all that Above, we were, we were preachers who give you a list of what God wants to do. God is not in that church. 
Any preacher who tells that God is going to do this, is going to raise the dead. Is going to, that preacher is not of God. God Almighty has a prerogative. He knows what he wants to do. He's able to do above all oh, we are able to think, to think, to the power that worketh in us, according to the power that worketh in us. There is a power that worketh in us. It's called the power of life. And resurrection in Christ Jesus. That's the power that worked in us. God Almighty is calling the time for us to humble ourselves and let His power work. Let the power of God flow in us. If not, child of God, you are going to walk in the flesh and the flesh profited nothing. You will be carnal. <laughs> you will be serving God and you will be frustrated. Your mind is not there. You will not be there. You will be having the spirit of buying and selling. That's how you know if God is in you. If God is at work in you, child of God, you will be focused on that work. No matter what you are passing through, you will be focused on that work. You will concentrate on that work. You will depend on God to see you through. God Almighty is going to beware of doing work for Him, preaching, doing all manner of things, and He is not the one doing the work. There will be no result. Yeah, God, there is nothing to that flesh can do. Flesh cannot produce transformation of life. Flesh cannot transform a man. Only the Spirit of God can change somebody's life. Beware, child of God, of thinking that just preaching can save souls. There must be a spirit of God in us. That we pass through the world and convict people of their sin. And let people begin to return to Jesus Christ. And that is why we are here. And that is why we take all the sacrifices. We go through a whole of things to be here, to be able to reach out to souls. And God Almighty has been faithful and he will remain faithful. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do you have any more scripture there? Yes, Colossians 1 verse 29. Yes. We are although I also labor. Yes. Seven according to his walking, which walketh in me mightily. Seven according to his walking, which walketh in me mightily. mightily. Tell about it's established. In the mouth of two or three witnesses, a word is established. God has established that he is the one that wants to walk through us. You cannot just wake up and God be walking. You must stay with God. We must study with God. Many of us want to go through preparation. You are excited to go and preach. And that is why many people, when they go and walk, when God has not said they should go, they go astray. That's why I see preachers, adultery, they cannot bear any, any sort of suffering or persecution. They go and join cult. They want to join themselves with a big preacher. They begin to join one of gimmicks. And a lot of them, they begin to give them condition. And how they're going to have power in the ministry. And God Almighty is going to us to know that people who are so crazy about miracle, miracle, crowd, crowd, they don't have his power in them. Why? He is the one that added to this church such as should be saved. He is the one that knows those that are ready for salvation, that carries his word to them. Beware, child of God, of desperate preachers. God is not working in them. Until we yield ourselves to the Lord to pass through us to be a blessing to people, tell that God we cannot meet up with God. I'm trusting God to use somebody over there, but you have to go through processing. Go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse number 1. Ecclesiastes 5, verse number 1. Keep course, thy food. God Almighty, when you keep thy food, when thou goest to the house whenever of the Lord, you enter the house of the Lord, God Almighty, so don't rush to go and join workers. Don't rush. Don't be moved by the announcement of the preacher. Don't be carried away by the say, we are looking for Christians. We are looking for this. We are looking for that. Don't rush to join all those workforce. The Lord God Almighty said, sit down. Keep thy foot. And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear instruction. That is why we are called to listen. To hear what God has to say. Uh -huh. That to give the sacrifice of food. No rush to go and walk. For many have died and collapsed and run and spoiled their salvation because they went to walk. You know that the higher you go in walking for God, the more devils come. Beware of walking when you are not ready for the devil there. You are going to be crushed. The enemy doesn't care whether you are serving God, you are young in the Lord, provided you are coming there to counter him. He's going to attack. Be mindful to hear. Follow instruction. Don't feel that you are too much. Don't be in the rush. The work will not finish. The timing of the Lord, he's going to call you to come and do his work. When he says it is time, so we tarry to hear the word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 3, 16 and 17. We tarry 
to hear from the right source, from the counselors of the Lord, godly teachers, they have to teach us how to work for God. They have to prepare us for the work of the ministry. What does it say? Second Timothy chapter 3. Yes. 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. Yes. And it's profitable for doctrine. Uh -huh. For reproof. For reproof. For correction. For correction. For instruction in righteousness. For instruction in righteousness. Why? That the man of God may be perfect. Once you have gone through this, you are not a man of God. There's no human being that is called man of God. That is, that is a preacher. Man of God is one that has gone through process with God. Man of God is one that has gone through teaching. That is, that is now disciplined. That God Almighty can trust and send on errand. That's a man of God. When talking about man of God, women are also included because the word of God is for all of us. All scripture is for all of us. So it is not only for the men, but God Almighty calls us man. As the place it says in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 16, 13, it says, quit ye like men. Quit ye like men, be strong. John chapter 1 verse 12 says, I mean, let's receive him. It's there we get the power to become the sons of God. We are men of God. It's not only for the male gender. It's talking about the people that have eaten the word of God from the man Jesus. And by the mercy of God, I am a man of God. Now, question, what about you, sister? I am a man of God because I've eaten the word from the man Christ Jesus. God Almighty said, when we begin to be prepared, is the one that is going to make us prepare us to be serious. What the prayer that 17 say, please? Please read 17 again for us. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, we worship you. That the man of God may be perfect. Perfect. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thoroughly furnished unto all good works. God Almighty said it is the good works that he's looking for. So we cannot work as we like. There is good work, there is bad work. Be one of bad work. You can be working for God and it's a bad work. But no matter said he's looking for good works and it's only for those who have gone through processing. Look at the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse number 16. Matthew 5, 16. Makuta la Galantia. God Almighty is calling us to know that the reason why we serve is to be a blessing. <laughs> it's to impact souls. Yes. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Uh-huh. Let your light so shine before Let your walk, let your light. Let your walk with Jesus so shine before men. Before men. And they may see your good works. Let them see your good works, your ministry, your service. And glorify your Father, which let is. Let their attention, let all the glory be to the Lord. Let them not put glory on you. Let them not begin to put their camera, their video camera, their phone camera on you, looking for you, looking at your feet. An all manner of hero worship. God Almighty said, when we are shining forth his own light, people are going to see him. They will not see us. They will not want us. It is God that they are looking for. And that is why, child of God, as we are this global altar, when people come and they want God and the Lord help us to reach out to them, even if they abuse us and insult us after, I don't care. Why? It is Jesus that they came for. He didn't come for me. I would only feel bad if they came for me. I don't want nobody to come to me. Let's go to Jesus together. Let's call upon the Lord together. Going to human being produces, produces a lot of hearts. We have a whole lot of over familiarity. We must learn to go to Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of God family, God is going to teach us how to keep ourselves, the dark up to follow, so all eyes will see him and not us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord God Almighty said in his to know that we must be prepared. We must go through process. We must learn to sit down. Stop claiming the power of Elisha when you cannot sit down under Elijah to learn. The world is built of Gehazi, of competition, of stubbornness, of not listening to what your leader is saying. God Almighty said we must go through teaching. Ephesians chapter number 4. Ephesians chapter 4, 11 and 12. We must go through processing for preparation. Ephesians chapter 4, 11 and 12. And he Thank you, Lord. some apostles. Yes. And some prophets. Uh -huh. And some evangelists. Yes. And some pastors. Uh -huh. And some teachers. Yes. For the perfecting of the saints. God Almighty, the reason why he gave gifts to men, to the church, is to perfect saints. Child of God, sainthood is not in heaven. Saints start from this earth. It starts from this world. 
Once we are born again, we have repented of our sin and we are following Jesus Christ, we have become saints. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am a saint by the mercy of God. To so perfect saints, not to, not to perfect just Christians, to perfect saints. So people have said, I, I, I am perfect. I know my relationship with God. But I'm saying, even as a saint, you should be perfected. To perfect saints, yes. For the work of the ministry. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. For right. the work of the ministry. All of us have ministry. Beware of thinking a ministry is a name. Global order ministry. <laughs> ministry. Nothing like that, though. Family, we're not in that arrangement. When you ask me how is your ministry, I'm going to tell you my ministry is to the glory of God. I'm serving God. I'm not giving up. I'm not tired of serving him. I'm putting on my apron. I'm not wearing a beat, but I'm looking for someone to serve me. I'm looking for my for people that Jesus is going to lead me to, to serve, to show them Jesus Christ, to display the glory of God so that they will remember the Lord. Through me, they will think about Jesus. Through my dressing, they will think about Jesus. I'm living for God. That is ministry. Not a beauty. Not a, what they call it, a billboard. That is ministry. And I pray God Almighty will open our eyes to know that everybody here, everybody on this global altar right now, those that are coming, you have a ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. And God Almighty is going to strengthen us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So God Almighty said, the ministry, the work he has called us to is completely for him and his glory. We cannot glory in it. Use it to judge people who claim ministry. Who say, I will pray for you. I will pray for you. I will pray for you. Even when I hear people talk, I know that this one, mm -hmm, you don't know God. Why is God doing the work? What are you doing? If God doesn't follow you in that prayer, <laughs> you know God will answer prayer. That's what Psalm 65 verse 2 says. He said, unto him, unto who, unto who? The hear the prayer shall all flesh come. If God doesn't answer the prayer, what is the person going to pray? Be what can I prophesy? Once you hear, can I prophesy? It's a fake person. God is not the one talking. God cannot take permission from any human being to prophesy. He speaks, he does as he places. And so God Almighty is calling one night. It is time for us we need to know that four faith people are there in this world. Answering ministries. And the name of the ministry, they always look for something that will catch people from their Bible. They will use a name that people will be a, a, a dear to. God Almighty is going on to be very, very watchful in these last days. Beware of ministries. Beware of prophetic gatherings. They are nothing short of witch doctor houses. They are shrines. And many of our family members are going to those prophetic meetings. <laughs> and they are using them to harm us. God Almighty said, beware of thinking that anybody that calls them of the Lord is automatically serving God. Many are serving the devil, and ministry is what they call it. Because everybody wants to be identified with God. God Almighty said, it is time for you and I to give him glory. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. He's the one that owns all the glory. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Yes. Whether therefore ye eat or eat or drink, whatever you do, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Do all. Whatever you are doing, do all to the glory of God. If not for the glory of God, I will not be here. We are here because of the glory of God. We are here because God is worthy. We go through all manner of things. It's because God is worthy. God deserves anything we go through. He deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. He deserves our humility. We must bow to the Lord and give him the glory. We don't serve him out of convenience. We don't serve him because we feel good. We don't serve him because people are giving us money. We serve God because he is God all by himself. And by the mercy of God, for family, we will continue to give God the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank God Almighty for a practical lifestyle the Lord has given to me concerning ministry, concerning serving him. And that is why by the mercy of God, I believe that the Lord Almighty is going to also touch somebody over there who is feeling empty and discouraged to know that he's passing you through a process, a learning process, so that you don't go into ministry and you will not be able to finish because everyone that God Almighty has called for an assignment, 
which has to do with winning souls, must complete it. We do not stop till death. Go to the book of Revelation 3.21 and go to the book of Colossians chapter 4, verse number 17. We do not stop. We keep on going ahead until we get to the face of Jesus Christ in eternity. We do not stop. What does he say? Revelation chapter 3, verse 21. Verse 21. Yes. To him that overcometh. To him that overcometh. There's no obstacle. What are we overcoming? You need to overcome the flesh. You need to overcome your emotion. You need to overcome what is going on around you in your home, your rejection. You need to overcome child of God, what is happening in the world. You must overcome. To him that overcome. We like that to sit with me. God Almighty said he's going to grant such a soul opportunity to sit on his throne. Even as I also overcame. Jesus gave him testimony that he overcame. And I'm sat down with my father in his throne. God Almighty, help me, Lord God Almighty, to overcome. Father, help me, Lord Jesus. Help me to overcome. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Family, we have to overcome. It is very strong. The adversary is there. The adversary is strong. He will do everything to want to stop us because he knows that there is a crown. There is a throne that we are going to sit with the Lord. That you are going to look upon the throne and you are going to stand and every temptation that comes your way, you will overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Call up and he's going to strengthen somebody over there to stand. You minister over there. He is going to strengthen you to stand to the finishing line. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I mean, would I like it or not, those who are serving God, everyone who is doing this work of the ministry, who is focused on God, would I like it or not, the person is a target in the kingdom of darkness. Anybody doing this work properly, serving God properly, shining for the light properly, a person is known in the kingdom of darkness, he's a target. They always hold meeting on that person's head. They call the person's name on altars, on how they're going to bring down the person. Tell them, God, would I like it or not, they're going to come close. They want to come very close. They chose Judas Iscariot for Jesus Christ. They chose Delilah to bring down Samson. God Almighty said, beware. There are people that the enemy are put around us to bring us down in ministry. But you are going to overcome. Amen. You are going to overcome that person. Amen. All those people in the name of Jesus Christ. Colossians 4, verse 17. Colossians 4, 17. Did you say? And said to Archippus. Said to Inkechi, put your name there. Archippus is a human being. Put your name there. And uh -huh. said to Kingsley. Said to Kingsley. Take him to the ministry without Take him the Lord. to the ministry. Which thou has received in the Lord. God Almighty said, that ministry, did you receive it of the Lord? It is called the blessing of the Lord. Did you wake up on your own and enter the walk? Did you say, I want to do what others are doing? Or you entered that walk because God Almighty said, Go. And even when you felt that you were not worthy, you felt that you couldn't do it, you say, Yes, Lord, I will go. I will do the walk. I will obey you. I will listen to you. Child of God Almighty said, What you receive of the Lord shall be forth. The enemy is going to fight it. He's going to come against you not to finish, but you will finish in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Take heed. Take but heed. Be conscious. Be conscious of the ministry that what you are holding is a treasure. What you are holding is expensive. What you are holding is connected to the source of man. It's all about eternity. It's all about eternity. It's all about Jesus Christ. It's all about what God Almighty is seeing in the life of somebody over there. God Almighty says, I want to finish what he has called us to do. Why? He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And God Almighty said, if he finished well, we can finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But take heed. Bear it. Strong, the wrestler says, according to Brother Paul, he said, cast down but not destroyed. Huh? Tell God, that time is coming in ministry when you will feel as if you are alone. It happened to Elijah. He had nobody. Nobody sided him. He asked the Israelites in 1 Kings 18 21, if God is God, follow him. If it is God, follow him. And they answered him not a word. He was alone, but God was with him. If God be for you, who can be against you? Stick with God. 
Stay with God. God Almighty is the one that is above all. The Bible says it's the greater one. How can that just happen? Romans 8 that it was that if God be for you, who, who can be against you? No way but formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you is judgment. God Almighty says it is time for you to be no condemned that song. God to the Galatia, like a Galatia. It is time for me to stand with God. There is a ministry to contend for. Contend for the ministry. When you contend for ministry, you are contending for souls. When you contend for the ministry, you are partnering with God. When you contend for ministry, you are dying to the flesh. God of says, I want to contend. God of God are we contend? For the ministry and the of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tell the God, Apostle Paul went through a lot. In the book of 2 Peter chapter 4, verse number 10, he said something about Demas. He said something about Demas. He when he was crying about the ministry to his son Timothy. He said something about Demas. Chapter number four. Yes, yes I For them as have forsaken me. Having loved this present he world. He loved this present world. And is departed out of the He has departed. He has left the ministry. He was the one that was joining me to do the work. We are working together, but he has left. Wow. He preferred the world. He wanted to have himself. He wanted to have fun. He enjoyed his flesh more than the work of God. Beware, tell the God that people you are working with. The devil can use them against you. And God told you that he can use them to steal your joy. He never can use people around you that God has said, God work together. He can use them and scatter your life and make it to be sorrowful. But God Almighty has somebody that's a remnant. Only Luke is with me. Only Luke is with me. Yes, yes, Even if it is only one person God puts with you, shall God stay with a person. God Almighty said he is the one that doing the work. He's the one that is doing the work. Nobody will take the glory. For your glory, for your glory, for your glory, Lord, for your glory, for your glory, for your glory. the glory of God. It's all about the glory of God, family. God Almighty is coming on myself for you to stick with him. Do not go with me. Still, I will follow. I will follow this Jesus to the end because I know that I have adversary. I have people that the enemy has put and said, you see this one? He's not going to finish well. But I'm going to finish well, family. Yeah. Even if I have to crawl, I will crawl to the finishing line. Yeah. I will cry to the finishing line. Yeah. I will keep on calling on Jesus to the finishing line. Yeah. As long as Peter called on Jesus in the water when he was drowning and Jesus lifted him up, he's going to lift us up. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. keep quiet and I'm going to call upon the Lord. I'm going to give up. Yeah. Why? He is worthy. It's all about his glory. It's all about his honor. It's all about the souls that Jesus died for. And that is why I see many people they don't care about the souls of men. They don't teach people the truth. They are only concerned about the welfare of this world. They don't care who is going to heaven or not. God Almighty is any preacher who is concerned about the souls of men. Who want to promote the Jesus of the cross. That preacher. God is going to uphold that preacher. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is time for you to know that God. God himself is the one that gives all the rewards. He gives us portion of work to do. Go to the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12, 5 to 6. God has a portion. He gave a portion to Adam. So this is your portion. Dress it. Keep it. Maintain it. God is kind of that every one of us. You have a portion in the vineyard. You have work to do. You're not a branch for nothing. There's a fruit to be here. What does it say? First Corinthians 12, 5 and 6. Yes. And there are differences of administrations. Yes. 
of the same law. Yes. And there are diversities of operations. Yes. But it is the same God which worketh all in all. God Almighty said, He is the one that gives. I cannot be jealous of anybody, child of God. I cannot envy anybody. Why should I envy somebody? I have my portion. I'm working for what God has asked me to do. I have to fulfill my own ministry. The one that I received of the Lord, you have your own child of God. There's room for everybody to be excellent in God. I don't have to envy anybody. I don't care how their own is. Huh? Child of God, beware of looking, looking at people that are serving God and envying them and wishing that you'll be like that. There is room at the top. Come up higher. There is room at the top. Keep going with Jesus. Higher and higher. There is no competition up there. When you are down here, you begin to get all manner of competition. Beware of down. Go up with God. Go up with God so that you will become what God wants you to be. You will not become a nuisance to God. Go up. Come up higher. Say yes, the Lord. I've got to the God Almighty is going on to beware of thinking that we can do better than people that are do somewhere else doing their work. I focus on my own garden. I want to bear fruit that God Almighty Himself will keep on pruning me. For anyone that is doing the work of God, child of God, God Almighty will not leave you alone. As you are bearing fruit for Him, He will be purging you. He will be dealing with you. He will be breaking you more because God Almighty cannot use a man who is still a man. He's going to break us to pieces. You want God to use you. You want to work for God. You must be broken to pieces. All the things about the flesh must die. God Almighty God Almighty is the one that break us in pieces because he is the one that must take all the glory. Ikechi and God cannot be together. My God to the must be broken. I must be vulnerable. I must be like this before God. God Almighty is the one that doing the work, and He cannot yeah. use somebody who is not broken. Yes, ah, like a broken so that God uses broken vessels. What does He say? John fifteen verse two. Yes. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit. Every branch that does not bear fruit, God said, I will take away. And every branch that beareth fruit, He pointed it. God knows who is bearing fruit. Child of God, beware of walking by sight. Beware of thinking that because a crowd is gathering on a platform, on a life, that God Almighty is looking at them and they're bearing fruit. What are they saying? Are they declaring this cancel of wisdom and understanding? God Almighty is the one that knows who is bearing fruit because He is the vine. And every branch has a name. My God, to the Galactic, Lord, I give you glory. Hallelujah. Whatever he says, he's the one that knows his very food. And when he sees one very food, he's going to grab that person. He purges it. He's going to punch you. That's the bring forth more. He's going to break you to bleed. You are going to bleed. You'll be crying all the time. My God, so Jalaga, yeah. You'll be going through things. Others will be looking at it, they're enjoying, but you'll be going through your own pain. You'll be allowing to pass through all manner of things. Why? God Almighty wants to bring you forth as God. Yeah, Galata. He wants to bring you forth as different. He wants you to be a fruit. He wants you to become just like Him. Yeah, what is at the cross of Calvary? The Bible says God turned away his face. Yeah, yes, God, because of you and I. And look at us today. For someone who was rejected on the cross, and Galata, who was crying to the Father, and the Father did not answer him. Tell the God, beware, beware, beware of walking by your feelings. There is a God that has a plan for our lives. There is a God that has a program for our lives. And by the mercy of God, for me, we are not going to miss God's program. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are not going to miss God's program. We are not going to miss God's program. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my God, to let the Lord you keep on bearing fruit. You keep on bearing fruit for the Lord. And allow him to punch you. You can cry. It doesn't cause anything to cry, child of God. Crying will not kill you. Keep on crying. Provided you don't give up. You don't throw in the towel. You don't walk away. Stay there with God. Then he said, God, I know that the wipe away tears from the eyes of those who are bearing fruit for him. God Almighty is coming so that we don't belong to ourselves anymore. We belong to Him. Anybody who is doing you evil, child of God, and you are serving God, do not be moved. Their time belongs to God. God Almighty is the one that knows how to repay anyone who is undoing his vessel, who is doing his work. And I'm trusting God for somebody over there. God Almighty is going to show you that his tender mercy is going to pet you 
It's going to hug you. It's going to smile on you. It's going to tell you he is with you. He said, I'm with you always. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Just put your trust in me. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you honor. Oh, how great is my God. How great is his name. He's the greatest God. Forever the same. He rolled back the waters of the mighty rock sea. He said, I will lead you. Put your trust in me. God Almighty said, let us trust him. Don't trust human beings. Don't put your trust in man. Man is wicked. Man is deceitful. Man is grass. Man is vapor. Man drinketh iniquity like water. We cannot trust man. Remove your eye from human being. Don't nobody support you. There is a God that will support you. There is a God who knows how to send ravens to feed you. There is a God who can prepare those who will not take glory. He knows how to prepare widows who are going to receive you and are going to supply your need that you will not lack in that way in ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Amen. the Almighty is coming us in for us to begin to know He is the one that wants us to be a full of Colossians chapter one verse ten. Colossians chapter one verse number ten. Colossians chapter one verse ten. Yes, you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. The Lord said, "We shall walk worthy. Let faults not come from us. Let us not be the one that spoils the ministry." Let's not be the one that were cut it, that got distracted. Let's not be the one that fell by the wayside. Let us walk worthy of this calling rest. Yes, please. Being fruitful in every good work. So we'll be fruitful in every good work. Tell me when you hear good work, it means there is a bad work. Whenever you hear good work, it means there is a bad work. The devil also knows those who are doing bad work. So people are people are saying these are men of God, they are working for God. Tell the God, beware of that general phrase of they are working for God. God I might say he knows that we are doing good work. Good work are those that are winning souls for the Lord. Good work are those that their people's lives are transformed. People are beginning to follow Jesus Christ. That is a good work. The people are saying, I was once blind, but now I see. I used to steal. I steal no more. I, I, I used to fornicate. I fornicate no more. That is a good work. That is why it pains me. It hurts my soul when we put in so much effort in the work and yet we see people who you think that they are going to be transformed, they are not transformed. Yeah, Canada. They are still manifesting the old life of the world. God Almighty is going to see this for our work to become good works. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Any force of darkness that is trying to corrupt our work, God Almighty in his mercy is going to intervene Amen. and give us victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Christ. There is a testing in this work for many. God Almighty said there is a testing. And when we are tested and we don't do the work well, God said He's going to cost that person. Go to the book of Jeremiah. Go to Jeremiah chapter 48, verse number 10. A. Anybody who doesn't do the work well, God said there is a curse. A curse is coming for playing with His work. For handling his work with levity, for doing his work as if it is the work of a human being, there is a curse. So beware, child of God, of having work that you are doing for God and you are not doing it well. Your mind is not there. You don't pray about it. You don't fast about it. You don't seek God about it. You don't ask for the grace of God. You are handling it anyhow. God Almighty said, beware, it can attract a curse. I told you, what does he say? Jeremiah forty eight. Jeremiah forty eight. Yes. Verse ten. Because he said, "My God, I can Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord. God Almighty said, "Anybody who does the work of God, how deceitfully, deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood." Is the a part I'm looking for? God Almighty said, "Cursed is anyone that does his work." Deceitfully, you make people feel like you're doing the work of God, but at your back, in your heart, your heart is not there. You are a deceiver. 
You are doing the work of God with deception. God said there is a cause. Do you not see why you are not blessed? You know that God see the secret. God see the motives of man. Anyone is handling the work of God deceitfully. God said, I see your heart. I weigh motives. I know why you are walking, my God. You are not genuine. And there is a cause. You better walk out. Walk out of that work. Don't waste your time. Why? You'll be getting more and more cursed. And God is going to deliver us. If we find ourselves in that kind of condition of deception, we better repent. Because God cannot change his word. I pray God we have mercy on us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is so much deception in the world. So much lies. So much hypocrisy. So much wickedness in the world. People claim to be serving God, but their heart is not with God. Matthew chapter 15 is walking according to you in the life of many people who claim that are serving God. Matthew 15, 8 and 9. My God to the Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord. Matthew 15, 8 and 9. Are you saying? These people draw us near unto me with their lips. People are drawing near to God with their lips. And all of me with their lips. They want human beings to see them as if they are Christians. They are using the name of the Lord to collect money from people. Yes, Lord. They are are not genuine. What does he say? But their heart is far from me. Their heart, their heart, their heart is far from God. They are not thinking about God. They are not thinking about what God is doing. They don't want to hear what God is saying. It's all about them. Beware, child of God, of hypocrisy in serving God. Beware, child of God. Many preachers are hypocrites. Lord have mercy. Look at the book of Numbers chapter 8. You will see that there are hypocrites in this world. Numbers chapter 8, look at 23 to 26. 23 to 26. Numbers chapter number 8. Lord, I give you the glory, Lord. Far, far from God. Yet you are doing as if you are serving God. The world thinks you are serving God, but your heart is not there. So yeah, you're going to never get lost in the cause. What does it say? Numbers chapter 8, 23 to 25. Numbers chapter 8, 23 to 25. 26. So 26. Yes. And the of the is saying, Uh huh. This is it that belongeth unto the Levites. This is it that belongeth unto the Levites. From twenty and five years old and upward. From twenty five years old and upward. They shall go in to wait upon the service. They should go the and serve me. They should go and serve me in the tabernacle of the congregation. And from the age of fifty years. From the age of fifty years. They shall cease waiting upon the service. They should retire. They should retire. Retirement is coming. My God, to the year. There is a day you cannot walk. And the, from fifty upwards, they should. They should Jeez. serve no more. They should not serve again. Look at 26. But shall minister with their brethren uh -huh. in the tabernacle of the congregation. Yes, to give the charge and shall, shall do not no service. service. Thus shall, shall that do. To the Levites, thus shall this. Beware of preachers who are old and refuse to retire. But they retire those who are younger than them. They are old. They do not retire. But they retire the younger preachers. Yeah, Canada. The younger ministers. They retire them. They bring law. You are supposed to retire to so age. -so -so but they are older by far. And they are still serving. Beware. They are fake. According to the Canada. God is the one that asks them to remain there. They are there because of their belly. They are there because of their power. They have ulterior motive. They are not serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Beware, child of God, of following such preachers. Who are deceiving people? You don't retire, but you retire others who are younger than you. We are seeing it in our country. Yeah, God, God am I going to deliver us from hypocrisy and wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ? Amen. God Almighty said, It is time for you and I to know that He is the one that wants to prepare us for His work. And when God Almighty prepares us for His work, child of God, He's telling us that His work. Is spiritual. God's work is not physical. <laughs> tell, them, tell my children, all these children, as if you are serving God, you are not praying, you will not get grace. Grace comes upon spiritual people. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Anybody serving God, you are cleaning the sanctuary, you are singing. Beware of God, starts hooting that is by voice. It's not by a good voice, my cousin. There. It is uh, by spirituality that God Almighty is going to find in our walk. <laughs> and it's not when we come to remember other child of God, but the mercy of God, no matter how weak I am, no matter how broken I am, once I start doing this spiritual work, the Holy Ghost takes over. 
to me, Kalata. The Holy Ghost begins to sit on me and walk through me and glorify his name and put me aside. Yeah, Kalata. Why? Souls are involved. Until you see the work of God as spiritual, you're going to mess it up. You're going to be like the sons of Eli. You will not be like the sons of Aaron. You will attract death. You will be like the sons of Skiva. Who can like you? Can like you? Who went to call spiritual Jesus? Spiritual Paul to demons. Demons now. And the work of God is spiritual. Ecclesiastes number 8. I'm telling you, verse number 17. God says his work is spiritual. It is not flesh. It is not carnal. It is not easy to snatch souls from the kingdom of darkness. How can like that? To snatch a soul? Yeah, can like that. What does he say? Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 17. Yes. Then I beheld all the work of God. Uh -huh. That the man cannot find out the work that is done under the sun. We cannot find the child of God with physical eye. We cannot decode the work of God. Uh -huh. Because though a man labor to seek it out. Yes. Yet he shall not find it. We cannot find it. We shall not find it. Uh -huh. Yea, further. Uh -huh. Though a wise man think to know it, yes, yet shall he not be able to find it. It is yeah. not by might or by power. God's work is spiritual. It's spiritual. 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 It's spiritual. Spiritual. Uh, spirits cannot give a canon walk. My God, so tell God. Spirits walk with spirits. That is why your spirit man must be alert. <laughs> you must feed on God's word. You will play with the work. Child of God, beware of playing with God's work. If you are not yet prepared with the word of God, don't try it. Don't climb altar. And uh, do not, you will not follow instruction. You will not be obedient. Yeah, Kalada. You will not be submissive. You will be stubborn. Look, look at King Saul. Yeah, Kalada. The first king of Israel. He had no mentor. He had nobody to guide him. He refused to even listen to the prophet Samuel. He did not mess up. He was became, he became the first witch king in Israel. Yeah, Kalada. He became the first to be told he carbon. Beware, child of God, of when the glory of God departs. It has left many preachers. It has left many churches. Why? They are serving God in carnality. They are serving God in the flesh. They are serving God as it suits them. Beware of serving God as you like. Beware of serving God by your own idea, by your own wisdom. Beware of copying people. Beware, tell of God, we are seeing it in churches. They copy one another. They copy auditorium. They copy how they dress. They are copying one another. That is the wisdom of man. You cannot find God. God Almighty was teaching me, so he said, you my work is spiritual. That is why my reward is also spiritual. And that is why when I work with people who are not spiritual, it affects my life. Tell so God, spiritual works is spiritual. Beware of canal people. It's happened to Brother Paul. When Paul wanted to go for ministry, tell so God he was working with another minister called Mark. Let's look at the book of Acts. We are they were separated. Look for that scripture for me. I call it there. They were quarreling. The Bible said this truth. They were quarreled until God Almighty came and spoke <clears throat> and said he is the one that wants to separate them. Before they began to go. Separated them and then they gave silence to Paul. I go to the Galatia. Ah, Lord, I give you glory, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Look at Acts 15. Acts 15. My God, so tell you. Let's check Acts 15. Look at verse number 36. And some days after Paul said unto Barnabas, Let us go again and visit our brethren in every city where we have preached the word of the Lord, Lord and, and see how they are doing. Uh -huh. And Barnabas determined to take with them John. Barnabas said, I want to take John Mark. <laughs> I want us to go with John Mark. Maybe that is his favorite son in the Lord. I want to. You cannot choose people for yourself. It is God that chooses. Read on. Verse 30. But Paul thought not good to take him with them. Paul said, let us leave John Mark. We cannot go with them. Uh -huh. Who departed from them in Pamphylia. You look at what he did last time. We cannot be carrying people out of sentiment. He was not strong the last time. He was not faithful the last time. We cannot go with him. Uh -huh. And went not with them to the world. He is lazy. He hates prayer. He doesn't want to tarry. He doesn't like that vigil. We cannot carry him. He's going to spoil the work and discourage other souls. When we are leading prayer, he will be sleeping. Beware, child of God, of carry people who are going to discourage souls. There are people that the devil has appointed to destroy the work, to discourage souls. God Almighty said, Paul saw it, but one of us did not see it. <laughs> so, child of God, beware when you are loving a preacher. You may not see what God is seeing. And you may use another preacher to reveal that this person is not doing my work. 
Even if you don't qualify, even if you don't want it, uh huh. And went not with them to the war. Uh huh. And the contention was so sharp. Somebody say contention. Contention. Somebody say contention. Contention. Beware of contention in the ministry. Beware of quarreling in the ministry. God doesn't like quarreling in the ministry. It's going to destroy the work. I thank God for God's word, child of God. God, 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 God cannot lie. Constant quarrel in ministry is going to collapse that work. And God is not going to take it lightly with anybody. Somebody is going to die for it. God Almighty cannot kill his only begotten son for work and allow him to come and spoil it. That's why I'm afraid. I tremble, I tremble before God. But many people don't fear God. Beware, child of God, of kind people who don't fear God around you, man. Because they're, they're going to be bringing quarrel all the time, like this man called Barnabas. He brought quarrel. There was the, the condition. Uh huh. That they departed and saw And the quarrel was so sharp. It's a sharp. So sharp. Beware of constant quarrel. Beware of constant quarrel. Lord have mercy. Beware of constant quarrel that is sharp. God Almighty observes it. God is seeing it. There is a way that God will see this sharp quarrel. It's going to lead to what happened next. Or that what happened next. That they departed asunder one from the other. God Almighty will separate them. Because God separates people. God doesn't a quarrel. What there is constant quarrel in ministry, God will separate them. Because that. that is how God operates. I'm trusting God Almighty that somebody over there. God Almighty is going to look at your minister and say, Preacher over there, there's a minister over there. Beware of things that are going to change. They, 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 they cannot change. It's hard to change. Mm -hmm. I got that. Separate. Send the person away in peace. Pray over the person. Let the person go. I call John Agaya. Why? The person is going to be bringing constant contention. It happened in the life of Paul and Barnabas. God said, Let them go asunder. From the other, and so Barnabas took Mark and sailed out to Cyprus, and Paul chose Silas and departed, being recommended, recommended by the brethren. The Did they recommend Barnabas? So? No, because Barnabas was a minister of contention. Beware, child of God, I didn't hear his name again after now. But Paul and Silas entered the next chapter and began to praise God and began to pray, and everywhere it was filled with power of God. Earthquake came. Jailor and the family were saved. They were honorably brought out of the prison. The government is going to be aware of contention. Be aware of fighting. Be aware of calling. We do not have to work together, but we can be friends. We can be brethren, but we don't have to work together because the work of God has no sentiment. Yeah, Kalanta. The work of God is spiritual. It does not have sentiment. Yeah, Kalanta. Yeah. Beware, child of God. Jesus Christ knew when to walk alone. He knew when to get disciples. He knew when to walk alone. And God Almighty is going to himself as out of sentiment. If not, they will destroy the work and you will give account. There's a day of accountability. Yeah, God, everybody will give account of how you have walked for God. We are coming to, the, to that point very soon by the grace of God. God Almighty said it is time for you and I to know that when you are doing the work of God, <laughs> when you do the work of God, child of God, all things will be working together for your good. If you are focused on God and things are not working well, God Almighty said, all things will work together for you. Go to the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 28. Go to the book of Psalm 118 verse 17. When we are serving God, doing the work of God, genuinely, sincerely, with our heart, with all our might, God Almighty said, get ready. This will happen, but it is part and parcel of fulfilling your glorious ministry and your glorious destiny. What does it say in Romans 8, 28? And we know that all things work together for good. And we know. Do you know? Those who are serving God, you must know that God Almighty is the one that called you to do that work. If you are not sure that God is the one asking you to do that work, you will be confused. You will complain. You will murmur. You will drop the towel. God Almighty said, when you know that God is the one that asks you to do a job, like I am a global altar, I know God is the one that put me here. Whatever I'm passing through, child of God, I put it, I put it that God Almighty is one allowing it for that time. He's one allowing it for that purpose. Because all things are working together for my good. Because I love God. To so them who are the called because I am, purpose. I am not just called, I am the called. That's a woman keep called and the called. Yes. The called is an established call that God Almighty said, do it. There's no doubts. There's no shaking. There's no double minded there. The called are those people who know that God Almighty wanna give them assignment. <laughs> they are not shaking, they are not bored. God Almighty said, all oh, things are working together for the good of such a purpose.
mercy. Who is serving God? With all your heart, I thank you, Father, because all things are working together for my good. As I am called according to your purpose, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm one one eight verse seventeen. Uh, go to the God. Child of God, it's time for you and I to arise in prayer. Because God Almighty said there are contenders. We are going to fight and contend with the enemy of our ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Christ. what does he say? Psalm 1, 1, verse 17. Yes. I shall not die but live. I shall not die but live. And declare the works of the Lord. I will declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die but live and declare. Of the Lord, Amen. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord, Amen. 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 <laughs> you are there, but you are going to preparation because there is a work that you're going to do for the Lord. And you're going to begin in your family. Now, some mothers there, God brought you here to prepare you for the ministry in your home. <laughs> because he has put prophets there. There's a prophet in your home. And you're the one that's going to raise that prophet. There are pastors, there are prophetesses in your home. In the, and they are under your leadership and mentorship. God is going to use you for your home. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God Almighty said, if you are in his work, we must serve him heartily. We must serve him with joy. Go to the book of Psalm 100, verse number 2, and Colossians 3, verse number 23. We must serve him heartily. We must serve him joyfully. God loves a cheerful giver. And our service is a gift unto the Lord. What does he say? Psalm 100, verse 2. Uh -huh. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Child of God, I cannot stand the whole frown to serve God. You're not excited about God. What are you doing? What are you, why are you serving him? Why are you following him? You will not accept it. It's an unacceptable service. You want God to accept the service, you want to be glad. Your heart must be sugary for God. You must see it as a privilege, as an honor. To serve God. Why should God be begging you? You're like a child in the house. You clean the house. You wash the dishes. You can't beat your mother. Pay me. How can that child ask for pay? My consoda. Did the child pay when they carry the child for nine months? Did the child pay when the mother gave birth to the child? And waited for that child day and night. Bitter the child. Fed the child. Had sleepless night. Hospital. The mother is there. All manner of things. The mother passed through. Did the mother ask the child for money? Yeah, Kalanta. Tell her that come. That Jesus has done everything for us. And not a little walk we walk. We are charging. My God. Beware of people who charge money to sing. But we say, freely have you received. Freely give. We do not charge or ask for money. God Almighty is the way people want to give. Let them give freely as God has helped them and enabled them. We do not impose charges on God's word. God Almighty is serving with gladness, but I am going to serve you with gladness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Record to the Galatia. Let me say, look at Colossians 3, verse 23. Colossians 3, I read verse 23. Yes, please. My coach and the Galita, the Galabo, the Consult, the Gaya. Yes. Do it heartily. Whatever you do, do it heartily. As to the Lord. Let it come from your heart. Do it with your heart. To the Lord, not to human beings. And not unto men. Many people do things because they think they're doing it for me. Huh? I pity people who think that they're serving me. They're serving me. It's not me. Whatever you do in the name of the Lord, it is for the Lord. If you do it like unto man, a curse has come. It's idolatry. You have wasted your reward. God of God is going to be no serving heartily. Put God in your mind as you're serving Him. 
Let God Almighty be the focus while we are serving Him. And by the grace of God, Father, I testify here on this global altar. I serve God heartily. I give God my heart. I give God my best. I give God my time. I give God everything. That's how God Almighty is going to he's gonna preserve me. Amen. In the finishing line. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. God Almighty, we must be serious with the work. With the book of 1st Thessalonians, chapter number 1, verse 3, we must be serious. We must be committed to the work. According to the Galatia, we must be committed, conscious that we are serving God. We're not serving man. What does it say? 1st Thessalonians 1, 3. Yes. Remember without season. Remember without season. Your work of faith. Your work of faith. And labor of love. And labor of love. And patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. And patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. In the sight of God and our Father. God Almighty said, if it is Jesus Christ that we are following, we must give God the glory. We must be committed. We must give God all the honor. We must be serious with God. We must respect God. Many people don't respect God. Tell me, God, I've seen things, so <laughs> I've gone through things in life. I have seen people, especially you, say, they have no regard for God. Yeah, God. That is why you see how youths are doing all manner of concerts. They treat God as if God Almighty is their mate. The kind of songs that youths are singing, you know that this one doesn't have regard for elders. I talk of God. God Almighty is going to time for you and that we to take him serious. Respect him. So then when we are in Zoom prayer, when we are praying and I look and I see how people are behaving, I will start crying, respect the Lord. Please respect the Lord. Respect him in a prayer. Don't pray as if you're talking to a dog. Give God time. Give God a focus. Give God attention. Child of God, I cannot lie to you. Many people are suffering, having sorrow in ministry because they don't respect God. They treat God anyhow. They do as they like. They call pastors my pastors. They call choristers my choristers. They call the church my church. They have taken over. Custody of God's work as if it is their own. Souls now belong to men. God Almighty said, these people are going to pass through his judgment stick. Because there's going to be judgment. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10, there is judgment. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10, there is judgment. My question there. There is going to be judgment for everyone who claims that they are doing the work of God. Second Corinthians 5 verse number 10. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. We must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Yes, everyone may receive the things done in his body. Everyone may receive the things done in their body. According to that he had done. According to what we have done. Whether it be good or bad. But I must say that's a day of judgment. That's a day of accountability. <laughs> when everybody's going to come out and give account of how we have handled the work of God. Of how we have handled the giftings of God. Of how we have handled the responsibility, the duties that God gave to us, there's going to be a day of accountability. <laughs> God Almighty is going to know that He is the one that is going to be the righteous judge that day. Nobody's going to come down to gossip. God Almighty is going to give up according to records. Go to the book of Revelation, chapter number 20, 12, and 15. Revelation chapter 20, 12, and 15. There is a God on that day. Revelation chapter 20, 12, and 15. Yes. And I saw the dead, small and great, uh -huh. stand before God. Yes. And the books were opened. Uh -huh. And another book was opened, which yes. is the book of life. Uh -huh. And the dead were judged out of those things which are written in the books, uh -huh. according to their works. What's that? According to their works. According to their works. So, like, I cannot deceive you. Every, like this work we're working now, will be judged. Kingsley will be judged. Everybody that is working for God, you will be judged. If you talk with it, it's going to be recorded. If you are serious, it's going to be recorded. Because God Almighty is not joking with his work. He is himself. He himself is working. He's not joking with his work. Jesus Christ has gone through hunger. Just to face the work in the book of John chapter 4. When the woman of Samaria came, he was hungry. Yet, because he had to work, he put his food aside. He shunned his belly. He shunned his appetite to focus on his soul. And he didn't win only one soul. He went the whole, he won the whole city of Samaria unto the Lord. So I'll be well joking with God's word. Be well joking with God's work. Be well playing with God's command. We are to do all the things that He has commanded. We are to obey Him. Because there is a day of accountability. Can we read 15? Of that 20. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life uh -huh. was into the lake of fire. So I'm talking about books. Books are for record keeping. There is a bookkeeper. His name is Jesus Christ. I may not remember, but he remembers. <laughs> and God is going to sit down for you and I to, be, to become serious with our work for him. And by the grace of God, we're not going to miss God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ephesians 6 verse 8. We need to round up to pray. Ephesians 6 verse 8. 
blessing without sorrow in my ministry. I cannot walk in faith, and of God. I cannot be shouting like this. I don't rest. Always doing this walk. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to enjoy God. God forbid. God forbid. Okay. What does God it say? Ephesians chapter 6, verse 8. Uh -huh. Knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, uh -huh. the same shall he receive uh -huh. of the Lord, whether uh -huh. he be born or free. But Matthew said, do not look for title. Beware of title. Beware of title. Beware of excuses. Beware of looking for little, little things to use to give reason why you cannot do the work of God. Whether bond or free, but I say we can work for him. We can serve him. We can do things for him. And he is the one that's going to reward. Let's say rewarder. My rewarder, my rewarder. He's coming. My rewarder, my rewarder. He's coming. Oh, my rewarder, my rewarder. He's coming. Oh, my rewarder, my rewarder. He's coming. God Almighty is going to know that there's a rewarder coming. We're going to follow him. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to look at the book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. That's my email address. My email address is Hebrews6VS10 at Yahoo.com. That's my email address. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. God used that scripture to revive me when the devil told me that I'm wasting my time and I'm useless. God used Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 to tell me I'm not wasting my time. God to the Galanta, the Galeta. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 10. For oh, God is not unrighteous to forget your work. God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. To forget my work and labor of love. Which I have showed toward his name. Which I have showed. God is talking about serving. Ministry is serving. The work of God is serving. Which you have showed to what he said. In that you have ministered to the saints and do ministry. So I cannot do in Kechi ministries, in Kechi Jehovah ministry. I cannot do. It's not me. It is in his name. Yes. Be one of any ministry where the person puts their name. It's fake. I saw a holiness sister on social media. She puts her name. Oh, Lord, have mercy on her. She's going to give account of that name she puts there. I wish somebody can go and tell her. Her name is Esther Saforo. As a several ministries, I was going to tell her to remove that thing first. It's a disaster to her record with God. It is in His name. <laughs> we cannot put our name there. That's why you see God's wife midnight cry. Tell her God to declare that I am God's wife and I am a tank, I am a crier of mid in the midnight for souls to know that we are almost there. Anybody you see asking there, putting their name there. It is time for us to go and cry to them to remove it fast. If you know you love that beautiful sister, go and tell her to remove it. And God Almighty is going to touch her heart to remove that her name. It is his name. But go to that. It has to be all about his name. Our name has no place here. God Almighty will have many mercy on us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Which you have shown toward his name. In that ye have ministered to the saints. And do minister. And you are still ministering. Not past tense. Be one of past stories. Be one of past glory. Be one of what you used to do. It is what are you doing now? How is the work now? How is the service today? God Almighty is going to have to be consistent with our work. Beware of saying that God Almighty is giving you another assignment. He's giving you this because you are tired of the work. God knows that we are tired of the work. <laughs> my God, soldier. Tell of God, even though that God Almighty convinced me to come here, I will not leave my church. I was enjoying the work. I just finished going to a bus by uniforms on the choir. I was enjoying it, preparing for a program. Because, but God said, come out and go and win souls for my kingdom. The Lord is going to be aware of how we change work with excuse because we know that we are bored. We are tired. We want to go and do easy things that God Almighty has not called us to do. Be aware, God Almighty is the one that gives reward. And do minister. And by the grace of God, the global altar is an altar that ministers to the saints. Amen. We are here to minister to the saints. And we will not be tired of ministering to the saints. Amen. Until the Lord God Almighty comes and changes the work. And we will, people will know. Because there will be no vacuum. When God Almighty is changing an assignment, there is no vacuum. <laughs> he is going to fill it up. If we take a better vessel, God Almighty is going to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God Almighty said, it's time that there is a reward. Go to the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse number 7. 2 Chronicles chapter 15, verse number 7. My God, be ye strong, God. therefore. Be ye, be ye what? Be ye strong. Be ye strong, therefore. <laughs> and let not your hands be weak. 
Give out of your hands being weak. We learned it yesterday about right hand being walk. Right hand being the energy of the child of God. And God Almighty said, it is time for us to know that our hands can be weak. There are some news you hear, your hands will be weak. It happened to Elijah. Tell so God, beware, weakness can come in the ministry. It's about our Lord Jesus Christ at his hour of temptation. But he went to the place of prayer. He taught us how to pray and he overcame. He was able to go through his trial and he came out victorious. Hallelujah! Hallelujah!
do all you can for him, and he will reward. without sorrow in the ministry. And no matter what you are passing through, you continue. The obstacles are there, but you continue. The discouragement is there, but you continue. The suffering, the lack is there, but you continue. The uselessness is feel useless. You feel empty. Nobody appreciates, but you continue. You keep on pressing on. Why? There is a finishing line. There is a place we are going to. Jesus Christ got there. He despised the shame. He endured everything. And he went. And now he is seated at the right hand of majesty, making intercession for you and I. He is still in ministry. Child of God, by the mercy of God, the Lord God Almighty is going to strengthen somebody over there who came here feeling empty that God can use you in your pain in that your spiritual agony God can use you and glorify his name if only we will make a vow today that Lord I'm going to serve you to the end no matter what I will serve you in righteousness in holiness before you all the days of my life let's go to God in a place of prayer lift your voice I mean not thank God wherever you are thank you, Lord lift Jesus. your voice and appreciate God Lift your thank voice you, and thank God, God for you. Lift your voice and worship it. Lift your voice and give God that glory. Lift your voice and thank it. The Lord is worthy to be adored. The Lord is worthy to be adored. The Lord is worthy. The Lord is worthy. Lord is worthy. Lord is worthy. Lift your voice and give God that glory. Lift your voice and worship him. And thank him for his grace and worship him. God Almighty that doesn't give up on his children. It's a God that blesses his own. It's a God that watches. He's the righteous judge. He's the righteous judge. Lift your voice and give God glory. Lift your voice and worship him. Lift your voice and magnify the name of the Lord. And go to God. Thank you, precious Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus Christ, speak to me. We agree. Amen. Lift your voice, Lord, I cry as a father. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. I repent, Lord. I'm not sorry, Lord. I repent, Lord. I'm not being serious with your word. I need to will seek you. I need to will to be prepared. I'm not even interested. Lord, I'm not I have not been fruitful, Lord. I've not been serving you, God, with the gladness in my heart. I've not been serving you, Lord. How gently, Lord. I've been doing it my own way. I've been doing it the way that suits me. Lord, I'm not inconsistent. I'm not being serious, Lord. Lord, I'm mercy. I'm mercy on me, Lord. I'm mercy on us, Lord. I'm mercy, Lord. Our convenient service. Our convenient work. Walking on God Almighty. Lord, Father, we are my set, Lord. As if we are doing you a favor. As if we are doing you a favor. We always Threaten you, we threaten you. We want to always walk away from the walk as if without us the walk will not continue. Lord, I'm mercy, I'm Our give us the hope of our wickedness, our stubbornness, our pride, our arrogance. Lord. In Jesus Christ, mighty day we have prayed. A little little God can Christ and Father. Prepare me to work for you. I surrender you all myself to you. I surrender, Lord. I come in humility, Lord. Lord, prepare. 
make you me know, to walk for you. I'm a rush you me on all my pride. Prepare me, Lord, by your word. Prepare me, Lord. As I try to be for you, prepare me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I don't want to do the work of my own. I want to sit down and receive a God instruction. I want to sit down and receive direction. I want to sit down and God receive guidance Lord, to do your work, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I mercy on me in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We are praying. Amen. Now, grant God in repentance and say, Father, in any way, oh God, I've caused confusion in your work. Lord, I repent to God. Have mercy on me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. In the way of God's contention, of God's quarrel, in your work, I brought division in your work. I brought a manner of canality to your work. I brought pains to your work. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, forgive me. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. Anywhere that I have walked your work, of God, that you are not pleased with me. Lord, anywhere I have walked, of God, without concentration, I walk as I like, and I have attracted it because, Lord, God Almighty, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, forgive me, Lord, for walking the walk my own way. I did the walk the way I like. I did the walk to shoot my flesh. I did the walk to please man. I did the walk to please human being. Lord, I need to do the walk according to your specification. I did the walk, Lord, the way I like. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, forgive me. In the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on me, Lord. Father, forgive me, Lord. Lord, forgive me, Lord. Hey, Jesus Christ, mighty name, we have prayed. Family, is it because you are alive that you are so proud? Don't you know that people that are your mates have died? Your juniors have died? God, oh God, is it because you call the mighty is merciful? You climb the altar to minister and your heart is not right with God. You come out to lead prayer and your heart is not right with God. God Almighty has seen the secret. You never gave him time. You don't respect God. You don't honor God. You don't regard God. You don't pray about the work. Yet you come out to boast to the world as if you are serving God. You're going to crush God and remind the Father. I repent of hypocrisy. Lift your hand and cry to God. I repent of double standard. I repent of hypocrisy. I repent of God. Of showing the world what I am not. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I am sorry, Father. I didn't walk alone with fear. No fear of God in me. Have mercy on me. I'm not praying. You can see what sleep can do to you. You cannot even pray. Lift your voice and cry to God. And God am I to mercy. Lord God am I to mercy. Lord God am I to mercy. Record to me God am I to Lord am I to mercy. Lord am I to mercy. And all the carelessness will display toward your work. All the carelessness will display toward your work. Have mercy Lord. In the name of Jesus. Record to me God am I to mercy. In Jesus Christ mighty name we have prayed. We're gonna pray and say, Father, I am sorry for serving you with sorrow. I'm sorry for serving you with sadness. I serve you grudgingly. I will serve you with grudge. I didn't serve you with my heart. No excitement in me. I was not doing it because I have to do it. Lord, I repent to God of serving you, not to please people, of serving you as a hireling. I didn't serve you as your child. I serve you as a hireling. Lord, forgive me. I was I'm looking for reward. I'm looking for salary. I'm looking for money. I'm looking for reward of man. I didn't serve you as my father. I didn't serve you with gladness. I didn't serve you with honor. I didn't serve you with respect. Lord, I am sorry. Lord. I'm mercy on me. I'm mercy on me. I'm mercy on me. I am sorry, Lord. Oh, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Oh, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Oh, I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Daddy, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, I am sorry, Lord. Daddy, I am sorry, Lord. 
Christ's mighty name we have read. Amen. Don't rush to do the work of God, family. You must know him first. You cannot work for somebody you do not know. Jesus said, I work for my father. Tell them, God, do you have that relationship with God? Do you have such a relationship with God? To be able to say, I'm working for my father. It will endear you to God. You will love God. You will love the work. Tell them, God, you will protect the work. You will never frown. If you are serving God that you know, you can never drop with that work. You are ready to die for that work. According to me, you are ready to go through anything for that work. But if you are joking with the work of God, because they don't love God, they don't know God. They are using the work of God to want to get relationship. No, it is relationship first. You cannot work for God to get relationship. You have relationship before you walk. That's how it works with God. He has ordained 12 to come and be with him. They should be with him. So that he will know how to treat them to be able to know who to send by time to go and preach the word of God. Because God has to begin to know him. Oh, Apostle, Apostle, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. You'll be frustrated, my family. If you don't know God and you're working for God, you will be frustrated. You cannot hear the voice of God. You will not know the direction to go. You will be depressed. You will be distracted. You will not be focused. That is why you must know the Lord. You're going to cry the Father. I want to know you. I want to know you. And the power of your resurrection. And the fellowship of your suffering. I want to be able to die. Serve you. I want to be able to die. Working for you. Oh, God. I want to be to die. I want to be able to die. I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to serve you. With knowledge, I want to serve you. With knowledge, I want to serve you. With knowledge, look at you. And then I got this focus. Look at you. I want to serve you, Lord. With knowledge, I want to serve you, Lord. With your power, I want to serve you, Lord. Let to the Galate. Look at the book of Tunia. Lord, I ask you, Lord. Are you a mercy on me? A mercy on me. A mercy on the global Lord. A mercy on us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Rick to the Galabaka City. Rick to the Galate. Lord, I'm merciful. It is as Christ by today we have to read. Amen. Family, whether you like it or not, you're going to go through fire. <laughs> you cannot walk for God without fire. Hey, Kalata, the fire in you must be able to consume the fire outside. According to the Kalata, if you don't have the Holy Ghost in you, forget it, family. You are going to struggle with God. Why? You cannot bear the fire outside. Hey, Kalata, pressure. You cannot stand it, Kalata. There is a fire in man that will consume the fire outside. Hey, Kalata, there's a force in man that can pull down any fire of the enemy coming. It's called a fury death. The Fury death the name will come and confront the shield of faith that we have in God. The one of Christ and Father. Fill me afresh with your spirit of God. Fill me afresh with the Holy Spirit. Let your fire fall. Let your fire fall on me again. The fire of revival. Don't do your work. No. Let your fire open your mouth and cry to God. Let your fire fall. Here, control the Galatia. 
you. Beware, child of God, of expecting a reward when we are joking with God's work. God says to say, cast, we are going to get. I pray that God will deliver us from any cause that we have already attracted. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. You know, Christ say, Father, Father, help me, Lord, help me, Lord. to receive the blessing, to receive the blessing from, you. from you. I don't know how have sorrow. I don't know how many sorrow so in my walk for you. Lord, I need a blessing without sorrow. Have mercy on me in my ministry, in my walk, Lord. Lord, I need a blessing of God without sorrow. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are prayed. Amen. Stretch your hands towards us, grief. For Lord, I thank you for every one of your children, of God. God, you got anyone of God of mine that knows the Lord, everyone's heart. The one that knows their past. You give it to everyone, oh God. Yes, Nobody Lord. is useless, oh God. The eye, the nose, the hair, Lord, the eyebrow. In your kingdom, you know us all. I thank you, precious Redeemer. Glory be to your holy name. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord God Almighty, Lord, we cause this message, oh God, to go deep in our hearts, oh God, and yes, search us real well. Search us real good, oh God. Yes, and cause us, oh God Almighty, to come out, oh Lord, in humility and brokenness before you. And repent genuinely. Where we are not being serious, Lord, yes. I 
for serving you in the name of Jesus Christ. And Apostle God Almighty Lord, to be conscious and aware that you can speak to us you know, on the passion of God in you have put for us with our name on names. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, for mercy, O God. For all of our carelessness, you know, all of our pride, our arrogance, you know, our wickedness of heart, O oh God. All the things that we have been doing, O oh God, against your work. I ask God for your forgiveness, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us, Lord. We have been so proud and arrogant. Forgive us, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, the Lord God Almighty, at the end, O oh God Almighty, Father. The Lord, on this prayer retreat, O Lord, tomorrow if you tarry, everyone, O Lord, will be convinced, O Lord, and be sure that indeed we have yes, received Lord. the blessing of the Lord. Yes, Lord. That has no sorrow with it. And yes, make Lord. it rich in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. Thank Let you, this word continue to put in our hearts, O God. Let us recover from this message, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. We cover this message in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Cover our hearts in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every counter attack of the enemy to come and eat this word. But I raise up your standard yes, against the enemy. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sweet dad. We honor you, daddy. We love you, dad. We glorify your name, daddy. We will work for you. We will serve you as you walk in us, Lord. But to we not to do of your good pleasure. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus Christ, unchallengeable mighty name, we have a read. Amen. And amen. 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 Family, by the grace of God, Lord God Almighty, to continue to uphold us, continue to strengthen us. If Jesus starts, I'm going to meet again tomorrow by 3 p.m. for the last day, day five of the blessing without sorrow. 5 BWS 5 in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead and listen to this message again. Go ahead and cry passionately to God. Let God Almighty open your eyes to your own portion of garden, the work that God wants you to do. As the Lord to prepare your family, God Almighty said, Anyone bearing that is not bearing fruit is going to enter heaven. Anyone who is not bearing fruit, child of God, God Almighty is going to turn the person to hell, to be born, to be gathered by men. God forbid that you and I are going to miss heaven because we are fruitless. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you, Shalom. Shalom, love you plenty, plenty, and thank you all for your prayers for my life. Lord, continue to reward you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. Let your voice alone and cry and say, Father, let me not labor in vain. Let me to always be steadfast, walking, O Lord, in the vine, walking for you, Lord. You walking through me, Lord, for your glory alone. I will be a fruit. I want to be a fruit. I want to be a fruit. Lord, stretch in me, Lord. Oh, Lord, stretch in me, Lord. Lord, stretch in me, Lord. I want to walk in vain. In the name of Jesus. I shall not live in a good suit. I shall not go to the Galatia. 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 Lord, I give you the glory, Lord. Lord, I give you the honor. Lord, I give you the honor. Blessed be your name, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I will continue to walk, I will never be tired. Continue to walk, I will never be tired. I will continue to walk, I will never be tired. I will continue to walk, I will never be tired. I will continue to walk. Chalaga galacha, re galacha, chalaga galacha, re galacha, chalaga galacha, re 